Welcome to our first YouTube tutorial. My name's Lucas, I am a motion graphics artist and I work at Livewire Productions, a production studio based in Brisbane, Australia. In this series, I'm going to show you a couple of the ins and outs of integrating 2D and 3D source files and a few tricks to keep your project flexible and streamlined. Without any ado, let's take a look at the final project I'm working on and let's get started. Okay, here's my 3D scene. It's a simple setup with three rooms and a camera animating between them. Let's jump into the camera and take another look at that. This is the scene I'm going to be rendering my RLA sequence out of. So I bring up the render dialog. Go down to my output, you can put in any file name you need, but make sure we're outputting an RLA sequence. Under the settings I'm rendering 8-bit, and you've got to be sure to enable Z-Depth, Object IDs, and Coverage, which we'll be using in the future video. Okay, we're just going to render that in the background. Alright, we're back! Now before we jump into After Effects, I just need to show you one of the properties of the camera. So we're going to select the camera here. And what's important is this camera's field of view. Here I'm using 45 degrees, so you need to note that down. We're going to be using that in After Effects in just a moment. Okay, here we are in After Effects. I've got my mental ray render on the timeline. Let's take a look at that. Also, I've imported the RLA sequence. I'm going to take that and drop that into the timeline now. So I'm going to right click on the RLA sequence, go to Keyframe Assistant, and choose RPF Camera Import. Now After Effects is going to create a camera based on that RLA sequence. Let's double click on the camera to bring up the camera properties. And inside there you'll see angle of view, which we're going to set to be 45 degrees, which matches our 3D camera. So now we have our camera in After Effects. I'm going to create some text layers. Here we have test one. Test two. And test three. Now when I RAM preview this, you'll see the text is perfectly integrated. Perfect. And there you have it, part one, importing a camera from 3ds Max to After Effects, which was super easy and gets us ready for part two, transferring 3D positions from 3ds Max into After Effects, which I found to be a very useful technique for many situations. So keep an eye out for that, and be sure to check out our website, www.livewireproductions.com.au. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. The details are in the video description below. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time. And until then, live long and prosper.